So Marie Scott took to his Instagram today to address a blogger that put out some information that was completely false about him. And he is asking that this particular blogger give him a public apology. Um, he posted on his Instagram. He said, it's unfortunate that I have to make this post, but it's necessary. Content creators have a responsibility to make sure they don't run afoul of the law when they post about people. There's a line where free speech stops and defamation starts, and a good blogger knows the difference. They should also know how the use of buzzwords like allegedly and in my opinion work as well, because it can create unnecessary confusion and danger for their subjects. You don't have to like me, but it's unwise to run afoul of the law while doing so. Correct it or a fool and their money will soon part. Maurice Jefferson Scott, Sr. Esquire. Very serious. Um, I've recently run across uh, a blogger who's been putting false information out there. And I wanted to make sure that no one is misled by this information. Um, first of all, my name is Maurice Scott Maurice Jefferson Scott, senior. And um, if you're gonna do research on a Maurice Scott, make sure that you're, you're researching the right person. I'm Maurice Jefferson Scott. Uh, I do not have a criminal history. Um, I've never been arrested. I don't have anything more than a citation or a traffic ticket. That's the most I have. Citations and or traffic tickets. That's the very most. Never been in handcuffs. My reputation is something that I'm very, very proud of, um, and I'm going to defend it. Second thing is, I think that we really need to separate uh, some of this reality television from reality, okay? And um, there's an issue that sometimes if we don't see it on reality television, then it's not real. However, I'm an active practicing lawyer, um, so I'm not going to play about my law license, that's another thing that I'm very proud of. It took me a lot of hard work. Graduated valedictorian in my class and passed the bar first time with flying colors. So not only am I an active practicing lawyer, I have multiple cases. And it's not just in Alabama. I have cases that are co-counseled in other jurisdictions. Um, that's states as well. Okay. So just want to make sure that you guys understand I'm going to I'm going to protect uh, both of those. So this is one of the things that I want to encourage like bloggers to do. Do a little better research before you attach someone's name to a criminal history. It's very important that you do your homework. It's actually reckless and dangerous if you don't. Um, some of the allegations were <clears throat> extremely, extremely dangerous. Uh, attaching my person to that criminal enterprise puts not just me at danger, because there may be other people that were involved that think that now I'm that target. So it's not just me that you might put in danger. You might also put my family in danger. So this is something that's very, very serious to me. Um, even further, uh, I normally don't get on social media and go back and forth with bloggers or try to correct narratives or whatever. But sometimes when you know we can't separate reality from reality television and lines that get crossed, then I'll actually step in and address this. Um, so in closing, I'm very, very proud of my reputation. Um, and I spoke to Carlos King earlier today. And you know what? Carlos said, maybe before you just actively just sue him, how about you give him an, op an opportunity to retract their statement? And I'm going to go even one further, right? Because that's actually a good idea. Uh, being in this business for as long as Carlos has been in the business, you know, he's seen all kind of, you know, stories and narratives and everything else. But um, I'm going to go one further and give you an opportunity to retract. And I want a public apology for those two uh, situations. Anyone that's speaking negatively about those two situations, I'll give you uh, 10 days. Take the stuff down. And I want a public apology behind it because it's false information and you could have done a much better job. And it was called into question many a times on your own post. It was called into question the accuracy of the information and you recklessly disregarded that information. You also posted it multiple times and you shared the information as if it was true. 
What I will tell you is this, I'm very, very serious about this and you will find yourself on the opposite side of a lawsuit and you'll know that not only am I an attorney, I'm a good one. Well, sound off in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about all of this. And as always, I thank you guys for watching and listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.